I'm Jim Andrew. I'm a mechanical engineer and I started working at Birmingham Science Museum in 1974. Shortly after arriving in the museum, I met this engine. It was being erected on the site, ready for steaming in its bicentenary year. The engine was preserved from 1898 by the canal company at Ocker Hill. And when that depot closed, it was moved to the old Science Museum before moving to Think Tank, the Birmingham Science Museum at Millennium Point. James Watt was an instrument maker at Glasgow University when he was asked to repair a model Newcomen engine. And he managed to get it going but he also realised how chronically inefficient it was. Many other engineers have realised that, but he began to study it scientifically. But James Watt realised that the problem was that within the Newcomen engine, the earlier design, the steam and the condensate remained in contact and a lot of problems, thermodynamic problems, which weren't understood till later, came from that. He developed the separate condenser where after going to the steam cylinder, the steam could move into the condenser, which was cold, and produce the vacuum needed to operate the engine. While journeying to London to take out the patent for this improvement to the steam engine, he called in Birmingham, where he met William Small, Matthew Bolton, and the Lunar Society, and he realised it was quite an interesting group of people. A little later, when his businesses in Scotland were badly affected by a failure of the banks, he took up Matthew Bolton, the Birmingham businessman's offer, to move to Birmingham and perfect his engine design. James Watt carried out some tests on this engine in 1779 to establish his new method of working the pumping engines to make them even more efficient. The engine worked for 112 years and for most of that time it was lifting 1,500 buckets of water every minute. And that allowed 250 boats to proceed along the canal between Birmingham and the Black Country. The engine's important to us not only because it's the oldest working engine in the world and one that James Watt worked on, it is also one of those engines which maintained its original layout and its original operating arrangements. It even has the original timber beam, dating from 1779, a massive piece of oak. This is its first run since a major refurbishment. All sorts of little things have been dealt with, but the main problem was that the main pump, the one that lifts a tonne of water every minute when it was working, has a rope packing which has worn out. That pump is 90 centimetres diameter. It's back in operation. People can now come and see the engine in steam once again. <laughs>